Good afternoon, folks. Jordan here at the Nutty Gnome Homestead. Uh, today is June 7th, 2023, and we're going to be talking about potassium fertilizer for your plants. Now, this is going to be a homemade potassium fertilizer video. You could, if you want, go buy potash or uh, uh, sulfate of potash or uh, any kind of commercial potassium supplement, but we're trying to show folks how to do this at home cheaply with materials that you already have on hand. One of my favorite ways of adding potassium to all of our plants is to use banana peels. Now, banana peels, as everybody knows, bananas in general are high in potassium. But what does it do for the plant? Plants need potassium, especially whenever they're putting on a lot of flowers. This time of year, what kind of flowers are coming on in your garden? You have tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, squash, pumpkins, green beans, potatoes. Everything is flowering right now. So it would all benefit from a good, healthy dose of potassium fertilizer. So, let me show you guys how we make this at home. First off, everybody's heard about potassium water. You guys can chop up a couple banana peels, put them in a quart jar, cover them up with water. I like to use either boiled and cooled or distilled water. Uh, any kind of water heavy in chlorine, I don't want to be adding that kind of stuff to my plants. So uh, try to dechlorinate the water if you're using city water. Rain water is great, well water is good as well. In here I like to do three banana peels to a quart. I want this to be heavily saturated in potassium. What this water is going to do is it is going to leach the minerals out of these banana peels that I can then use as a fertilizer for my garden. We use organic bananas. We're using rainwater. This is going to be a homemade organic fertilizer for free, guys. It doesn't get any better than that. It takes three days to make this batch that I can start watering my plants. We try to keep a couple buckets of this going all the time from spring through fall. That way so we have a steady supply of a readily available potassium fertilizer for anything that is putting on flowers. So we're gonna show you guys real quick. I've got a couple of banana peels here. Now these are nothing special. Uh, like I said, these are just organic banana peels uh, from the bananas that we had as a snack. You can use them whole, but to create more surface area, I like to chop them up. You can do this with a pair of scissors, a knife, or anything. Just be careful when you do this. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to tear these apart. Tear them up into a couple of pieces. As you guys can see, they're breaking up pretty easy. And I'm just going to put them here in a bucket of water. So, this potassium is really good for the cell structure. It's going to be taken up immediately with all of our plants. We're not going to have to wait days. You will notice almost immediately a bunch of new blooms and healthier blooms on all of your plants. This is good, especially this time of year, because we're all looking to have a lot of produce from our gardens. So, my ratio for making this is three banana peels per quart of water. Now it takes three days to make this. We like to let it sit and steep, make sure it releases all the, that good nutrient. Whenever we strain this off, we save those banana peels. I'll actually leave them in the bucket. Uh, we'll add more water to it. We'll just keep adding more banana peels to it. And then in the fall, I'll throw the sludge in the bottom of my bucket into my compost pile. Nothing goes to waste here on the Nutty Gnome Homestead. So I'm going to bring you guys in close and show you this. So I have here, this is the leftover of my last batch of banana water. This is rain water and one quart of our banana water that we made. This here. Our ratio of this is going to be a one to 10 fertilizer to rainwater whenever we make, mix this up. The reason being is this is very powerful stuff. It's going to have an MPK 
of about 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and like 2.5 or 2.6. It's going to be real high in potassium. It's going to be really good for uh, all of our plants. And this is going to be readily available. So as soon as you water your plants, the roots are immediately going to take this up because it is already uh, leached into the water and dissolved into the water. So we have some fresh banana peels here, and if you guys see, we have a little bit of glue left over from the from the tag. Make sure you get that off of there. Uh, they can call it food grade glue. I don't really buy that too much. We don't want any of that stuff in there. These are organic banana peels, like I said, from organic bananas. We're just going to top these extra ones up, throw them into our, our bucket. This is a three-gallon bucket, so we're going to do about a full quart and one pint of our homemade potassium water, banana peel water, to this bucket. Like I said, we're going to do a 1 to 10 ratio, which comes out to about a half a gallon of fertilizer to a 5 gallon bucket of rainwater. Now these are going to sink down to the bottom. You guys can see some of the remnants of stuff floating down there. That's okay. This isn't going to be that big of a, a deal. This is your happy little bucket, as Bob Ross would say. It's your happy little trees, happy little plants. We're going to make sure all of our plants stay happy. This is real good to get the kids involved in. They're going to like to get their hands dirty tearing these up. If you use a knife or a pair of scissors, just be careful. This is how we make this on a larger scale. We will do this in three or five gallon buckets. And then from there, I will dip out into my smaller buckets for mixing. And as I said, for a five gallon bucket, we're going to use two quarts of our water, our fertilizer water, to a five gallon bucket of rainwater. This has set, this one here, has set for three days. We're gonna dump this in there. This is how you would make it on a smaller scale. Okay, so as you guys can see, and this smells pretty good guys, uh, you might get a couple of fruit flies coming around, it's not that big of a deal, we do keep a lid on all this. I'm going to rinse out my, my jar here, and we're just going to top this off. We don't want to ever run out of this because it is so good. Now since I already dumped a concentrate in there, this has already been concentrated from before, we just keep perpetually adding to this. I'm going to go ahead see if I can't find a stick and mix this up. Like I said, this has already been concentrated in here. We've made several batches of this already this season. And then I had this smaller jar and that all I did with this quart jar, guys. Fill it up with three banana peels. And this part is very important. Get you three banana peels on there. Seems to work very well for us. You can put more in there if you want. Three bana whole banana peels works very well. And then we're going to fill this up with rainwater. We're going to put a cap on it, a lid on it. We're going to set it in a cool, dark place, shaking it for three days. When this is done, this is concentrated and ready to use. We make ours in five-gallon buckets. You can scale this up or down however you like. But like I said, I like to do three banana peels per quart, minimum. So, that's how we do it. And then, since this is already our concentrate, I'm going to take one quart. I'm going to dump this in a five-gallon bucket of water. And if you get any peels in there, you can just pick them out and throw them back in. That's fine. I'm going to grab another quart. And let me bring you guys over here. And you're going to have this cloudy looking potassium water ready to water your plants. 
just like some of our other fertilizers, it's going to be very hard to over fertilize. You're not going to burn your plants with this. Uh, we try to do this about once a week. All of our plants are going to get one of these little red cups of this fertilizer water, potassium water, one time a week. And it really helps with setting our flowers. I'm going to show you some of the flowers of a few of these plants. This is one of our pepper plants in the garden. This is a California Wonder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's another eight, twenty-four, another six, thirty. There are thirty more blooms on this little set of pepper plants right here. And as you can see, we got nice healthy peppers already. Guys, it's the first week of June. And we've already got peppers ready to pick. These guys here, they're about four inches long. A little bit larger than a tennis ball in diameter. I got some over there that are, well, I'll show you. Some of these guys over here, he's the size of a baseball or better. So that is how we do our potassium water for our plants. Homemade organic fertilizers are the best. Now, we like to, like I said, do this once a week. And to recap, one quart per two and a half gallons or two quarts per five gallon bucket of water. So we're going to use a one to ten ratio of potassium water to rainwater. This is our recipe for watering all of our plants. Everything that's going to flower or has a flower on it gets a shot of this, including our flowers out front. Our coxcombs, zinnias, marigolds, uh, everything. They get this. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. I appreciate you guys coming along for this quick video on how to make this uh, homemade organic potassium water. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to shoot me a message down below, or you can always contact us over on Nutty Gnome Homestead on Facebook. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know. Till next time, y'all stay safe.